This is a, a video presentation about preservation scanner for short press scan. Press scan is a tool that automates the extraction of metadata of uh, digital files. This is the outline of this presentation. At first, we'll describe the motivation and we'll present some background issues. Then uh, we'll present the architecture of press scan and introduce the components of the tool. Later we'll show some measurements about the time performance of Prescan and compare it with other similar systems. And finally we'll describe some future extensions for the system. An interesting question is how can we create and maintain the metadata of digital files? This is a laborious task that does not pay off immediately. There is a, a need for a, a tool that automates as much as possible this process. So Prescan is a tool for automating the extraction and curation of preservation metadata. In our approach, some metadata are extracted automatically and periodic rescans keeps them up to date. Finally, we allow users to enter metadata and define dependencies between files. Now what about metadata? Metadata can be stored either internally or externally. In the first case, metadata are called embedded and are stored in the digital file, while in the second case, metadata are stored in a separate file. This kind of metadata are called detached. Each approach has advantages and disadvantages. Embedded metadata are tightly coupled with files and therefore are transferred with files. However, there may be redundancies between similar files. On the other hand, detached metadata can be stored in special repositories and linked with digital files, which leads to less redundancies. However, we should treat them carefully as inconsistencies may arise. Here we can see the components that constitute Prescan. These components are briefly the scanner, the repository manager, the metadata extractor and the controller. But let's see these components in more detail. The first component is the scanner that is responsible for scanning uh, the file system. The user can choose the folders that should be scanned and where the metadata records should be stored. Scanner also allows the rescanning of projects that is where file movements, file additions and any human provided metadata. Another component is the extractor that extracts the embedded metadata of the files. Prescan can choose an external metadata extractor for this purpose. Currently, it uses JHO as a metadata extractor. In this table, we can see uh, some of the supported types and metadata that JHO supports. Another component is the controller that is responsible for the entire process. Uh, the controller organizes the other components to perform a file system scan. When a scan is required, it tries to identify new files, files that did not exist during the previous scan, and files that were moved to another location or files that were renamed. The identification of these files ensures that human-provided metadata will be preserved and linked with the current file. Uh, the user has also the ability to confirm a file movement or reject it. This process is also fast enough since only new or modified files will be scanned instead of scanning the whole folder again. Finally, the last component is the repository manager that is responsible for storing and managing the metadata of digital files. Metadata are organized as metadata records, so for every file we scan we create a metadata record that contains both the extracted and human provided metadata. There are more than one choices regarding where these metadata records are stored. The first option is to store metadata records in a specific directory specified by the user. The second option is to store a metadata record in the same folder with its original file. While the third option is to store metadata records in a semantic web-based knowledge base. Each option has advantages and disadvantages. The specific folder option keeps metadata records organized in a folder in contrary with the original file option that keeps metadata records together 
with files and thus it's easier to find the metadata records of a specific file. The knowledge base option allows the querying and updating of the metadata of a file. Notice that these three options are not mutually exclusive. If we want to use a semantic web-based knowledge base, we must have uh, the metadata in RDF format. So we can use an ontology and a good modeling choice for this ontology is the CDOC conceptual reference model and its extensions. CDOC CRM is a core ontology used from uh, librarians, archivists, museums and one extension of this ontology is the CDOC CRM digital ontology which is, which is appropriate for capturing digital objects and their provenance. Under that we can have the core ontology for dependencies which is used for expressing dependencies between digital objects. Any other domain specific specializations can be used under this architecture of ontologies. The instance layer will contain the extracted metadata and any manually provided metadata or dependencies. Here we can see a complete diagram of the ontologies that we use. Uh, the boxes represent classes and the arrows represent subclass of relations. The yellow boxes are the CDOC CRM and CDOC CRM digital classes, while the red and green boxes are uh, the code and code typology classes. This is a compact diagram of the RDF output of Prescan. Every metadata record will be a digital object, a C1 digital object, and information like its size, its MD5 checksum, its last modification date and last scan date will be instantiations of the ontologies we saw earlier. Here we have a file myimage.jpg which is an in instance of the C1 digital object class and uh, we can also see that its size is about 35 kilobytes, uh, its MD5 checksum that is uh, an instance of E41 appellation and its last scan date and its last modification date. Now let's see the time performance of Prescan for various datasets. As we can see the more time demanding process is the extraction of metadata. In this table we can see that it takes about 9 seconds to scan a folder with 10 files, about 77 seconds for 100 files, about 19 minutes for 1000 files, 2.5 hours for 10,000 files and approximately 10 hours for a folder containing 100,000 files of various types. We can also see the time it takes to calculate the MD5 checksum of the files and the time it takes to store the metadata records of the files. To conclude, Prescan is quite similar in spirit with the crawlers of web search engines. In our case we do not deal with web of course but with file systems and extract metadata of files. We also support advanced extraction services, manual addition of metadata, more expressive representation frameworks for storing and exploiting metadata using for example semantic web languages, periodic scans that do not scan a folder from scratch but are aware of previous scan and association with external sources like registries. Briefly, Prescan can aid automating the ingestion phase for file system based archives. There are several other related works. Empirical Walker is probably the most similar tool with Prescan since it scans a file, determines file formats, analyzes the contents of files, and associates external metadata. Another similar tool is Catalog File Metadata Miner that also extracts metadata and exports them in RDF. It identifies several file formats but does not recognize the specific version of a file format. Prescan offers more functionalities than other works, for example the Prescan with preservation of manual metadata, the identification of file movements, the export to RDF ability and uh, the exploitation of format registries as well as the compliance with dependency management. Some of the extensions of uh, preservation scanner is to 
we use more metadata extractors to identify more formats and of course the generation of RDF metadata according to SIDOX CRM Digital in a more flexible manner. Here we can see the available releases of Prescan, the alpha version that was released at June 2009. This release has some known bugs that uh, were corrected at the beta version, released on September 2009. This latest release supports the generation of instances of SIDOX CRM Digital which allow the browsing of metadata through the GUI of Gap Manager. Here are the people that worked for Preservation Scanner, the developers and the responsible person for the project. These people are Yanis Dzizikas, Yanis Marketakis and Makis Danakis. And to, there is also the web page of Prescan where one can find the releases of the tool and some useful documents and examples of its usage. Now we can start the demonstration of preservation scanner. Finally we must create a new project. Here we can add the name for our project and specify the location of the project file. At the next step we can define where the metadata records should be stored. We can either choose a specific directory or we can store each metadata record in the same folder with the original file. And finally we select the folder that we want to scan. Now we can start scanning our folder. This frame shows various information about the scanning process. When it finishes we can see various information about the project. Here we can see the folder we scanned, we can see the location of the metadata records, the ratio of scanned and total files and finally the last scanning date. Moreover, we can see the metadata records that are in XML format and are derived from the JHOB component. Now, let's make some file modifications. Initially, let's add some metadata. Let's add some metadata here. Let's find the source file for this metadata record. This is the file animationbody.jpg. Let's find it and uh, rename it to animation human, for example. Moreover, let's move it to another location. Finally, let's add some new files there. Now, let's rescan our project. Here in the upper part of this window we can see the new files that Preservation Scanner found and we can also find that this file animationbody.jpg no longer exists and it's the same file with this one animationhuman.jpg in the new folder we define this mapping as correct. And let's now see the metadata of the project. Let's see the metadata of this file. Here we can see that the metadata we added 
earlier are here and the new name of the file is animationhumad.jpg. Let's see the exporter. We can export the metadata of the files in RDF format. Moreover, these are exported as CDOC CRM instances. Here we can choose either to export all the metadata in a single file or we can choose to export all the metadata in multiple files. Each metadata record will be an RDF file in this case. Let's do both of them and let's specify here the destination folder. Let's export all these metadata in one file also. Here we can see the metadata as CDOC CRM and CDOC CRM digital instances. These are all the metadata records of the folder. And here we have each metadata record as a single RDF file.